continuing our tour of the tunnel system under Herena. As you leave the open area and head west, you enter another tunnel, which takes you to Plainfield Street. Along the way, you pass empty offices, which used to house social service agencies. They were driven out after the water main break in 1994. Over the years, there have been several attempts to bring them back, and the city is currently working to make these rooms usable again. Right now, we take a look back at what used to be here. My name is Louis Manzi, and I am the group executive director of um, youth development here for the YMCA. YMCA used to have an after-school program that we offered in the Herena um, corridor, the tunnel. And um, during that time, we would have offered homework help, tutoring, sports, um, enrichment programs, literacy, arts and crafts. Mi nombre es María Pérez y yo he vivido en, en el North End por 35 años. Actualmente soy la presidenta de Mujeres a la Vanguardia Inc., una organización desarrollada para velar por los derechos legislativos, educativos y cívicos de la comunidad, especialmente en el North End. My name is Jeff Scavron. I'm a physician at the Brightwood Health Center. I have been here since 1976. We knew then and we know now that um, the people in the community will not be well medically unless um, they're doing well in other areas of life. And so part of our work at the health center and part of our work in the community is to meld all those things together. Oh, my name is Milta Franco. I was the previous director of what was called at the time the North End Outreach Network. When you think about outreach, we were connecting people to services, but there was two important factors. It was building trust and building relationships. And that's not easy to do in the North End of Springfield. People said that what they wanted was a place to gather, was a, play, a safe place for their children, was a safe, was a place where they can learn uh, throughout their lives was was a place where their health would improve, their economic situations would improve, generally a community center. And that's what went into the design of Harena, and that's actually what happened at Harena. All of the community organizations were there, and the library was there, and everybody would come, and it was rocking. And uh, the flood was, I was here, the flood was devastating. I, I do recall seeing um, the, the, um, the corridor flooded, um, the tunnel, and there were times that we would come into our office, which was located in the tunnel, and um, have to slosh around in puddles. Um, and you know, the, there was a very damp atmosphere down there because it's hard to kind of get rid of that water. That because of the health hazards, because of the mold and mildew, we could no longer be in there until it was corrected and addressed. So we had to move out. When an after-school program is located in a community where there's a need and it's very convenient for the families to do drop off and pick up, um, that, that's very helpful. So it would be great if, if we had an opportunity to be in Harena School again. Muchas de las preguntas, muchas personas se preguntan, este, ¿por qué es que nosotros no podemos tener estas organizaciones que nosotros participamos en la Escuela Jerena si supuestamente es la escuela de la comunidad? Ahora mismo este, se está trabajando en esos asuntos, pero yo personalmente creo que tenemos que enfocarnos más y ser más participantes y hacer la gente responsable dónde estamos y crear un plan cuál va a ser el futuro actualmente por escrito de la Escuela Jerena. There is no other public space that can accommodate the people of the neighborhood. So that is what we need, and that's why we desperately want that community space, that community area in Herena, to be full of people from the community every day, every night, every weekend, interacting with the school, interacting with each other, building a stronger community.